as you can see, I've got a problem here. As that brake light works, my third brake light works, but this one's burned out. Now I will say, this isn't too bad because that's the OEM bulb that is in there. And this car is more than 15 years old with 131,000 miles on it. So that's not too bad. That is also the OEM bulb. So it has done very well. But we need to change it. So what are we gonna do about that? Well, this is what we're gonna do about that. We got some new bulbs in and I am going to be changing them today for both the brake lights and the turn signals. We're both gonna be getting new, <coughs> new lights. So we're gonna be changing both this one and this one right here. So just a few weeks ago, I went ahead and upgraded my front parking lights, turn signal bulbs on my 2009 Corolla to some switchback bulbs, and I did a video on that. Well, on that drive, one of the guys uh, notified me that one of my brake lights was burned out. And ironically, I had actually just checked them when I was installing that uh, those front bulbs, and they were fine. So it had just happened, but we got some uh, new LEDs to match up with those front ones. So I'm kind of excited to get these in and upgrade the rear lights also. And uh, this is something too, I just want to mention that, you know, not a lot of people do. They don't check and look at their lights to see if they're burned out. Um, you know, make it a habit of doing that every so often. Um, and uh, looking at the bulbs, checking your turn signals. Uh, turn signals are easy because you can turn on your hazards. Uh, Parking lights are easy because you can turn on the parking lights. Brake lights are a little trickier. Um, you either need somebody to get in and, and turn uh, and push the brake pedal. Um, the other option, and this is what I use a lot and it comes in very handy, <clears throat> and I'll show you here. <clears throat> I use one of these. So <clears throat> this little tool a, can be used to depress a brake pedal or an accelerator, clutch, whatever you need. So I use this to hold down the brake pedal so I can check bulbs by myself on a car. So this is a, a very neat little tool. This one's made by Lyle and uh, I will leave, I'll leave a link for it. So if anybody wants to pick one up, but it's very simple and easy to use and comes in very handy. It can also be used for the accelerator and it can be fine-tuned for an accelerator right here. So if you're trying to set a certain um, idle speed or something like that, or keep it at an idle speed for a certain period of time, you can do that by just turning this knob. So it's, it's really cool for accelerating for the accelerator. <clears throat> so, but back to our problem of the day. Let me get this, uh, get the trunk popped open and uh, we'll start working on popping those in. Just wanted to get a quick little before shot for comparisons of the OEM bulbs. If you guys uh, appreciate these kind of videos too and like them, I'm really trying to make a, a push of, uh, you know, asking people that are watching the videos to take a second and like the video, subscribe. I'm really trying to grow the channel and uh, make a push toward uh, my next big goal of 5,000 subscribers. So if you could help me out, I sure would appreciate it. So to access these bulbs here, I need to get this panel off. So this piece right here, the cargo net just unscrews. Then you'll need a, a trim panel tool of some sort. So be able to pop these guys out. 
There's a couple of uh, these same little uh, there's only yeah. So once you get that so that you can kind of pull away because this clip right here actually goes through this. So once you get that, you can just kind of pull this down and then you have access to your bulbs. So now I can go ahead and make sure that doesn't block the view here. Pinch the twist and turn so this is the brake light right here so this is the one that's burned out so it pulls straight out there we go and yeah and I can see how it's the filament's broken. You can still read the side of the bulb too. It's a seven four four three, which is what we have here. Seven four four three. Now, I am not certain if this is makes a difference on which way this goes in here. So that is big yes there it goes Woo! oh my god that thing is bright <laughs> wow <laughs> wow 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 let's go ahead and put that back in its socket so you just turn and twist wow Holy cow. That is amazing. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> Look at that side by side. Wow. <laughs> That is crazy how much brighter that is. And I always thought the OEM ones were actually fairly bright for a brake light. But, wow. And it's even a more intense red because the LEDs are red. <laughs> well, definitely going to be more easily seen, that's for certain. You know, I was so impressed when I first plugged in the switchback bulbs up front. And these are impressive. I do really love this though too. <laughs> I love how that looks for the third brake light. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> That is amazing. Okay, let's go ahead and get this other one changed out now. Um, oh, actually, yeah, so that's this guy right here. Turn and click. Out. Okay, this one should be a. There it goes, 31.57. 
57. Make sure that, there we go, we'll double check that, turn the hazards on. <laughs> you know, you got a 50-50 shot of putting it in the right way and I, I missed on both of them. Oh yeah, wow, wow. <laughs> Those are bright. Now, originally, they still are amber bulbs. I ended up putting. Let me get this in there. there we go. I ended up putting some. I ended up putting some red tint over it. It's interesting though. These amber LEDs are so strong. They're so bright that it still looks amber when it's when it's blinking. Look at that. <laughs> That's fascinating. Look at look at this one. Notice how that looks red. <laughs> so that is really interesting. So when I put the red film over it, I just cut it out and trimmed it to fit over this because I thought it looked better. But I, I do think people see the amber turn signal better. So this is kind of the best of both worlds. I get the amber turn signal, but when it's off, It's still going to look red. See that? So when I just have my... My brake lights are on. Wow. So there's just the parking light. That parking light is about as bright as the old brake light. Wow. And once again, much more red, a much deeper red. Wow. Oh, I absolutely love it. So. Quick and easy in this car, anyway. So I'm just gonna pull this back over, get it positioned how it's supposed to go. So I can put this threaded one back in real quick. I'm gonna leave this back piece open because I gotta do the other side real quick. And this side's the same exact as this side. So I'm not gonna record that, but it'll just be the reverse of it. And then I'll show you all four. So I got these two bulbs swapped out. Took all of about two minutes and everything's fastened back up there. It's up back in place. So now, go ahead and reattach this little piece. I didn't take it all the way out, so we can just pull it back over. And get it snapped in. There we go. So let me know. Let me know what you think. Have you guys upgraded your bulbs if they were incandescent on a little bit older car? Have you 
upgraded to LED bulbs. Easy to see why you would want to. This is off this uh, subject, but have any of you driven the tail of the dragon? I live in Washington State and I've driven this car to the tail of the dragon three times. So this car has traveled to every single state, of course, other than Hawaii. And much of Canada too. So oh, I'll come back and get my tool. So, and like I said, I'll leave a link to this. I'll leave links to the bulbs. And if you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them, like, subscribe, do all that stuff. And until next time, guys, we'll see you down the road. Thanks for coming. Turn signal slash hazards at dusk with the tail lights on, parking lights on. Suckers are bright, people will see you. <laughs>